guys, this is Rex425, and today I'm going to take you through the steps that I go through when I'm making a YouTube video. And in particular, I'm going to talk about a piece of software that I use to make most of my videos, which is uh, Open Broadcaster Software, otherwise known as OBS. So this software is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to monitor capturing and webcam capturing, uh, which is why I use it. Uh, because I can get a better angle using the webcam even though I may have better quality or I may be able to shoot in better quality on my phone but it's not just for the positional aspect of it but it's also for the sound because usually when you see me in my videos I'm wearing this big gaming headset that's not for looks <laughs> but I use it because the sound quality that I get out of the mic is fantastic and it sounds way better than you just hearing me speak through the, the microphone in my phone or the camera in my phone or the camera in my laptop for instance so you if you if you looked at the video that I just posted the other day you will notice a significant difference in the sound quality that's because that gaming headset has a fantastic uh, microphone in it so that's why I usually when I shoot my videos uh, especially when I'm doing a video that I'm speaking directly to the camera I'll be wearing that that gaming headset because it's it sounds great of course I'm not in my place that I normally am I'm in Kalamazoo Michigan today I live in Texas so I'm away from my desktop <laughs> so I'm, I'm shooting this on my laptop. I know I need, I really want to do a review on this laptop, this gaming laptop that I'm that I'm shooting this video on. Uh, and, and really, hang in there, stay tuned for that because I'm going to be doing a review on that. Uh, I just I'm not where I normally am, and I don't have access to my desktop right now, so I'm kind of uh, traveling, so I can't do the the review the way I want the way I want it done. So I'm right here on my laptop, that is. So, but anyway, I'm going to take you through the steps that I use to create my YouTube videos. Uh, of course, if you look at my earlier videos, I shot them all with the phone. Like the first 15 videos I did with a phone, and I edited the video through Windows Movie Maker, which was awful, absolutely horrible, and it was a nightmare editing video with Movie Maker, with Windows Movie Maker because if the file was too large, it would stutter and it would lag and then it would crash and it would take me hours just to edit, do simple edits. And then I looked at, uh, I started looking at Roberto Blake's videos on how to use Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro. So that's what I use, I use the uh, Adobe uh, Creative Cloud to edit my videos and make my custom thumbnails which I plan to do a, a video series on what I go through when I make custom thumbnail and what I the steps that I take when I'm uh, creating a YouTube video just because I, I figured that there's quite a few YouTubers out there or even just people that are just starting out that want to make a YouTube channel um, may want to uh, see the steps from a small YouTubers point of view because there's a ton of videos out there that are out that outline how to make YouTube videos and how to make a channel, blah 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 blah. Say, uh, but they're huge, you know. They're I mean they're huge. They're big channels. Uh, they you know usually have um, expensive software. Which Adobe still is pretty expensive software. But believe me, if you learn how to use Adobe in your photo editing, it is absolutely worth the investment and the time to learn how to use it. So invest the time in learning how to use Adobe. There are some other uh, video editing software out there that is still fantastic and you can still get the same result. But with Adobe, you just have so much, so many more options when it comes to adding effects and transitional effects and just easy uh, cutting and editing and so on and so forth. So anyway guys, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my uh, my tutorial for Open Broadcaster System. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to download the OBS software. 
Uh, so you'll go to the website, which is uh, obsproject.com, and then you'll be greeted with this page right here. You'll just download the Windows 7.7 slash 8 slash 10. So in other words, it works with all versions of current versions of Windows, that is. Uh, and download the software. It's completely free. So that being said, once you have that downloaded, you will be greeted with this right here. So once you have this right here, you can go here, create a scene. Uh, and I, I have a YouTube scene and I have a, another scene. So you just go to add scene and then you'll type in whatever and then you'll just add the scene. Then you'll just click OK and add the scene. But since I've already done that, uh, you'll see it. You'll see it pop up right here and you'll see it here where this other scene that I've created right here. So that being said, that's all you'll have to do. And then this side where it says sources, I've got monitor capture and I've got video capture device. That is, of course, my webcam. And as you can see, it is unchecked because right now uh, my face is not what you're wanting to see. You're wanting to see uh, how to set this up, set this uh, software up. So I just have the monitor capture checked. So that's what OBS is going to use. Now, if I check this video capture device, you'll then see my face looking at the computer through the webcam. So what you'll want to do is right click on this part right here because it will be blank whenever you set it up. You'll just right click and click add. And then you'll go window capture, uh, monitor capture image, slideshow, global source, um, uh, text, video capture device, CLR browser, and game capture. Whatever you, whatever it is that you want to do, you'll be able to do it with the software. So I set up uh, a monitor capture and a video capture device on this scene. So this is it. This is what I use. So once you have these uh, set up, you will it, you'll want to, well, first of all, once you've set up the monitor capture, you'll see this right here. And there's really not a lot to tweak with this. Uh, you can, it's absolutely acceptable to leave it as it is and it will work perfectly fine. You just click okay and, and, you're, and you're good to go. And then whenever you add your video capture device, you'll see this pop up. And this is your settings for your webcam or your camera, whatever it is that you're, you've, you've got connected to your computer that you're going to use as a video capture device, you'll see it here and you'll be able to configure it here. This is of course webcam settings and you'll be able to, you can edit resolution if you've got a higher resolution camera, you can set it to 1080p or 4K or you can also, uh, you know, tweak the FPS. Of course, since I'm using the webcam in this laptop, this is the best quality that this webcam uh, can produce, which is a 720p at 30 frames per second, which is acceptable for a webcam, you know, built into a laptop. You know, I don't need a 4K uh, webcam, you know, sitting in my laptop. So, uh, but anyway, guys, this is it. Click OK and you're good to go. You know, if you're just using this software for basic, uh, I'm going to shoot a vlog. This is fantastic. These are the settings that you would use in such a case. Uh, if you wanted to, say, record a commentary on a video game, you would right click and click add, and then you will go to game capture, and then you will you name it whatever you want to name it, click OK, and then you'll see this right here, and you can click down on this, and you'll see um, if you have the game open, you just click on that and click on the game that you want to use, and it will and then whenever you click OK, it will immediately use that profile to record whatever game that you have running at the time. So then you can uh, click game capture and then video capture device and you can put your face down here and be able to look at it through there. So uh, let me change the order here, move up. And now you can see my face. So we'll go to edit scene, you'll move it down, then you'll do like this, boom. Now you can make a decent commentary on a video game or just on anything for that matter, do just what I'm doing right here um, and be able to, to do it. And then you click off the edit scene and you're good to go. 
So this is had this is my OBS setup. These are the settings that I use whenever I create. Now one more step you, you can do is you can go to file and um, not file, but you can go to settings. These are the general settings in OBS. So you'll say look at encoding. And you'll want to hit X264. Now if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can use NVIDIA uh, in uh, this NVIDIA uh, NVN E V N D E N C. But I just use X264 because that's just, you know, it's basic quality. This is what it's going to be set at default, and you can abs it's absolutely acceptable to leave this as is. Uh, broadcast settings, I just I just put YouTube gaming right here just because um, that's what I wanted to the I wanted a, a YouTube friendly file format. Now you can also by default this file path is going to be set to FLV. Now if you're making YouTube videos, you do not want to record your videos in uh, .flv. You want to use .mp4. So what it will look like whenever you first come in here is going to be like this. So you backspace that off and, and select and type in mp4 and then click save. Now your videos are going to record in .mp4 format. That way you've got the, you, you've, there's no conversion necessary. You can record a video and then upload it automatically just, just like that. Uh, but of course I usually, I will, I will be editing this video through Adobe. So, you know, but anyway, it's super easy to, to use that uh, MP4 format instead of that FLV. In video, you will choose the video adapter. Uh, in, in my case, it's an NVIDIA GeForce 930M. Uh, you will choose a resolution. Uh, and of course, these these settings, this right here will be set to default. Uh, so really, there's nothing here to really tweak. Of course, you can if you want to, if you've got you know a more complex uh, setup. Uh, which I do on my on my desktop, but uh, generally it's this is the settings that I would be uh, using generally. Audio, you can you know you'll you can choose whatever uh, whatever speaker system that you've got set up, uh, whether it be a mic or a microphone or or, or what have you. You'll set that through here. Um, uh, and then advanced. Yeah, and, as far as this goes right here, I don't I don't do anything here. I leave this exactly as it is. When you download it, when you download the software, it'll look just like this. I haven't changed anything, so you just you can just leave that as it is. And then you can use switch sweet scene switcher. And this is bit a bit for the uh, more advanced OBS user who's doing maybe live streams and want to switch scenes quickly and so on and so forth. So you can set a hotkey for switching scenes. Uh, and so on and so forth. Say if I'm going to take a break and I want it to display a certain message or, or a certain window, I can just switch the scene real quick, and you know that'll it'll show that image. Uh, but that's it. As far as OBS goes, this is all you got to do. So that's it, guys. Those are the exact steps that I take every time I make a YouTube video. So you can use this method uh, to make your YouTube videos as well. It's particularly beginner friendly so uh, just keep that in mind this is I mean there are several 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 I mean the, the possibilities are endless on how to make a YouTube video but I figured I would share with you guys what I do on a, on a um, uh, I would say a day-to-day -day basis but since I don't make a video every day but on a video to video basis I'll say that so Please like the video, comment if you've got your own opinions um, about my method, or if I could do something better, you know, get, get, please let me know on that comment down below. I would love to engage with you guys uh, about this topic. Uh, please share this video if you found it informative, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. <laughs>